let's not sugarcoat anything, right? Trading is a very challenging business. And one of the most reasons that you know people struggle to succeed is this business, more than any other business I've seen, requires like extreme amount of like self-discipline. Like you need to know what you're doing. You need to be mentally strong uh, because research has already been done. We talked about yesterday, trading releases the same hormones of serotonin and dopamine that you get when you're having sex, when you're gambling. And as traders though, we're getting it every single day. We're humans, we wanna control every single thing, but the more you can learn to just like let go and just like surrender. And it, it's almost a state of vulnerability because you're just like letting go. So once you get to that point, then you're very suggestible and you know, you could plan anything. Like even CIA does that when they're, you know, brainwashing their, uh, what do you call their assets, right? They do the same thing. The event was amazing. Uh, not only did we learn a lot, but it was a lot of fun just uh, hanging out with other traders and like-minded people and just bouncing ideas off of each other and having a generally a really great time. Mentally prepare for your day. Determine your market bias. Build your watch list. Build your favorites list. Trade only the stocks. Imagine that. Trade only the stocks that meet your criteria. The problem for a lot of you is you don't have criteria, so there's nothing to meet. Lots of lots of really solid information. I really loved how they go so much into the psychology about being a good trader. Notice how proud you feel as you watch yourself doing the right things, following your plan. How would it make you feel watching that? All that sacrifice, all that hard work, all that time, finally paying off. Now, to cement that anchor further so it actually becomes yours, when you go home, try to practice similar thing. You don't have to go through the exact thing that I went through with you, but just imagine yourself following through on your plan. And as you are watching yourself hit target, what you wanna do is you wanna create that anchor as you hit that target. So create that, try to do it at least once a week for the next four weeks, but work on that anchor. Soon enough, it'll, it'll actually become yours. And then when you do that every morning before the market open, it'll get you to that state where you were a disciplined trader. The more objective and accurately you define yourself as an individual and build your trading style around it, the more successful you will be as a trader. This was the hardest part about trading for me. People would tell me what works and I would say, okay, I'll do that. But that wasn't me. They've really taught me a lot, especially the one-on-one -on -one has really taught me a lot about myself and the stuff I need to work on, but also how to get better. But I also love their philosophies and the one-on-one uh, -on -one approach changes everything versus watching it just online, it changes everything. If you don't have patience or don't wanna give it room, guess what? You don't do it. Now I know, I know. It's all easy now because you're not sitting in front of your computer. So you're thinking clearly right now, but when the market opens and you're sitting alone, you're like, yeah, I'll give that a tight stop. And it moves up one bar, leaves the top of the tail and you get out of it because you didn't understand how these things trade. They almost always wiggle. And if you don't give them some room to wiggle, you're not gonna be in it for very long or you'll justify getting out of it for the wrong reason, okay? What if a three bar play did it? Different attitude, different expectation, okay? It's not the same attitude. My biggest takeaway was to come up with a trading plan and to you ac accurately lay out and define how you were trading and uh, trying to help us with all the human parts of trading. Prop firms have levels. So there's like level one all the way to level 10. So level one, we got 50,000 to trade and it goes up, right? Level two, level three, level four, all the way to level 10 is usually $10 million. So I got to like about level six something, I think it was a couple million bucks. Uh, got there and I was just stuck there, right? All these other levels took me one month to go get promoted in the firm, one level, one level, one level. And then I came to six and I just got stuck, plateau, right? Plateau and not able to go to level seven. Then. I stuck, I think I was like good six, seven months I was stuck here, couldn't progress. That's when I had to talk with myself, I looked at myself in the mirror, I was like, man, is this, is this it? I mean, sure, it's a decent lifestyle, I, I, you can still replicate your job income, but I thought about trading as a lot more. You know, I looked at the lifestyle, obviously growing up, I started trading very young. So I actually wanted all that stuff that is called trader porn, right? <laughs> like the cars, the houses, you want that. I wanted it, and I was like, this is not gonna get me there though. Right, this is not gonna be the lifestyle I'm looking for. And uh, I kept a track and I 
probably still have the email somewhere in my sent folder. Uh, I sent to Jared and another guy, sent it to him. And it was a log of what I actually made on each trade versus if I just did 2R. And if I just did 2R, promotion would have happened in one month. Would have gone to level seven. Six months in a row, it was the same exact issue. I'm like, next month I'm gonna do it. And I'm still behind because I was breaking my plan. Six months later, I was like, all right, either you quit or you do something different. Either you break through or you do something different. And I looked at it and I if I just did this, I would have already been there. And that's what kind of got me to change because, uh, you know, obviously I had different goals. So I wanted to do well, you know, I grew up and I was like, I, at that time I was still in India. Uh, and part of it, I was in London. So I was like, I want to move to America, but I can't. It's expensive to come the right way, right? I mean, now you can just cross the border and just come and they'll take you, <laughs> you know. But for me, I had to put in a million dollars in a government funded project. They still have my money, right? They still have the money. You have to put in that money, create employment. That's why I started the auto shop. I uh, did all of that stuff to come here the right way. But to make that money, I couldn't make it on this level six, right? So that's when I was like, if my dream is to move to America, I can't. So either I change or I quit. That's when I was like, when the pain to stay the same was greater than the pain to change, that's when you'll change. It's important and, and good to see how experienced traders like Emmo and Jerry, they doing this for many years and still, you know, has some flaws sometimes. So sometimes when you're trading on your own, you can only focus on how much money do you lose and you think that that only happened to you because you knew. So when you got to see in person them people with many, many years experience that happened to them, it's, it's good because it, it shows you that that's part of the learning process and even experienced traders, it will happen to them as well. It was very beneficial, very detail oriented. It was a, a further breakdown of, of details that, that we don't typically get on a daily basis. Now how I built my list is very simple process. There's no fancy scanners. I don't pay for any software or anything like that to build my list. And, the, and it's a very, I would say, old school way of scanning. But that's kind of what I started in 2010 and I was just like, well, it's working. Like, you know, I don't need to change it. You're not a professional if you don't track your stuff. No one I know on this planet, well, I, that's a lie, but most people I know on this planet that own a business, don't they track how many hamburgers they sell, what their profit margin is, what hours they're busiest so they can staff properly for those hours. It's amazing that things that you guys automatically do in your other businesses that you don't do in this business. I love the fact that it went into technicals, it went into psychology, it covered a variety of uh, different elements of trading, and uh, I'm very excited to get back to it with uh, a new uh, skill set. Uh, I feel like I have direction, I feel like I have a plan, I feel like uh, I have a positive attitude and confidence. People think, oh, you can't, I, I hate this when people say that, you can't go broke taking profits. Like, what does that even mean? Like your position's up one profit, I can't go broke taking profit, let's take a dollar. You're gonna go broke actually taking profit. So the stuff that you hear online is actually the complete opposite of what you actually should be doing. You will absolutely go broke taking profits, cheap profits, right? Instead of a 30 cents, let me take 10. Instead of two R, let me go break even at, you know, whatever R, and now you are break even. Or, you know, because you're protecting the profit. You're not focusing on making the, maximizing the profit, you're protecting, it's a scarcity mindset. Like, I wanna protect this. So you will absolutely go broke taking profits. Um, so that's a misconception. Uh, affecting real change happens quickly. It doesn't happen quickly. I mean, it, it happens in an instant, but to get to that point of the instant, it's a long journey. So yeah, change, in my opinion, change happens like that. Like that, it's a decision, right? It's a decision, just like that. So you make that decision that, all right, from this point onward, here's who I'm choosing to be. I've been with Live Traders for almost two years now, and I just am really happy with my growth. And you know what? You can pay the market in tuition, or you can pay somebody like Live Traders who actually cares about you and will take the time to make sure you understand your trades and understand yourself in, in your trades, which are probably the most important things to becoming a, a successful trader. So I highly recommend this to anybody. Come out and have some fun.